For now, let's zoom in even further to get a nanoscopic view of a massive multi-layer labyrinth of wires with the transistors at the very bottom. Here we see a group of six transistors that are wired together to build an AND logic gate. And in this view, we can see around 650 transistors out of the total 16 billion that make up the overall chip. Understanding how billions of transistors work together to build a CPU capable of playing video games, watching movies, or browsing the internet will take a bit of work. So let's start with an analogy. You may have heard that CPUs are like super powerful calculators. This analogy is only around 20% complete, as it's missing some critical parts. So let's add them in to make a more accurate analogy. First, we'll add a table for the calculator to sit on, along with a pencil and a sheet of paper. Next, we'll add rows and rows of bookshelves containing thousands of books, along with a cart that can carry a small stack of books between the shelves and the table. And finally, we'll add an automated robot, which we'll call a control unit or controller. The controller can grab books from the bookshelves, move them to the cart and onto the table, and it can put them back. The controller can also read the contents of each book, write on the paper and in the books, and use the calculator. You can think of the controller as a super fast human, but we're bad at animating humans, so it's a robot instead. <laughs> 